Number one um, asks us to come up with the measure of angle A prime, B prime, C prime. So this angle here, um, since this A prime, B prime, C prime is a dilation of ABC, we know that the angles will stay the same measure. So 40 degrees is going to be the measure of B prime. Number two gives us um, triangle DEF here in the middle is created by connecting the midpoints of the sides. So D, E, and F are midpoints of the sides. Um, and so you could mark that if you want to, that we know that those two pieces are the same. If F is the midpoint here, then these three are, or these two are the same. Um, and what that does is gives us all these little congruent triangles. And we also know that, um, so we're looking for this side length. We also know that that side length is composed of two pieces that are equal to this one. So this one is three. And so each of these from B to D is three and D to A is three. And so we know that the whole length of AB is six. So it's kind of like it's dilated um, by a factor of two. And we would also know, um, and this isn't part of this problem, but just a similar thing. So this is DE here. We would double that to get AC. So this one is two. So this longer one is four. And then also um, DF here is four. So BC would be eight. So those kind of go together like that. Number three, um, angle ABC is taken by a dilation with center P, scale factor one third, to angle A prime, B prime, C prime. The original angle measure is 21 degrees. So what is the measure of the dilated angle? We know that angle measures don't change in dilations. So the new one is still 21 degrees. Number four, draw any two lines that could be um, images of line M by a dilation, label those lines N and P. So remember, when lines are dilated, they're dilated to themselves or to parallel lines. So any of these lines would work. Okay, so anything that you're seeing here, so you can just draw any two lines, they just need to be parallel to the original line M. So this could be one this could be one and then you just need to label those and so it said label it one of them n and one of them p number five says is it possible for these two polygons to be dilations of each other so was this dilated and explain your reasoning so kind of look at the similar pieces and just check if they are being dilated at the same scale so if we look at this one, this one's eight and it's dilated piece is four. So we see a connection there of dividing by two or a scale factor of one half. So if I take eight and I multiply it by one half, I would get four. And so then that needs to happen with all the other pieces in order for this to be a dilation. So we can see 10 goes to five, six goes to three, eight goes to four, those are all good. Um, but when we take a look at this bottom one, VZ um, to AE, 12 times one half is not equal to that 10. So then this would not be a scale, or sorry, would not be a dilation um, because all the sides were not changing at the same scale factor. Number six, triangle XYZ is the scaled image, or sorry, is scaled, and the image is X prime, Y prime, Z prime, write two equations that could be used. So we know that these are similar, and we just need to write two equations um, to solve for A. So one could be to compare A to three. So I could do A divided by three, and when I do that, then I would just do a similar thing in the other triangle. So I went A divided by three. So now over here, I'm gonna do the similar pattern and do five divided by eight. So there's one equation we could use. We could also just compare similar sides in the figures. So I could start by comparing A to five. 
So I would do A divided by five, and then I would compare, um, go back. So I started in in um, the image. So I started here, so I need to go back to there. So then I'm gonna go with three and compare that to eight. And then you could cross multiply um, either of those to solve. And there's a bunch of other ones you could write. So this is not the only ones. So you could do um, like eight over three, so I went eight over three, so now I'm gonna go five over A. You could have gone eight to five. So eight compared to five and then three to A. So there are a lot of other um, equations. That's just a few examples. In number seven, it says that Lynn is using the diagram below to prove the statement that if a parallelogram has one right angle, then it's a rectangle. So given that EFGH is a parallelogram and angle HEF that's pictured here as a right angle, write a statement that would help us to prove that FGH is also a right angle. So how could we prove um, that this is a right angle? And that would be that we know, whoops, that um, opposite angles in a, in a parallelogram are congruent so we know that so if one if this one's a right angle um, then we would use the fact that we know that opposite angles are congruent um, in order to prove that the other one is a right angle then it says that Han states that the two triangles created by um, diagonal EG are congruent so let's help him write a proof so we're trying to prove that kind of this triangle down here is congruent to this triangle up here. And how would we do that? So a couple things um, just as we start looking into this. So things that we know, so before we start writing it out, things that we know, we do know that opposite sides in a parallelogram are congruent. So we would know kind of these top, top and bottom are congruent and left and right are congruent. And then we also know that EG is in both the orange and the blue triangle. So that's going to be congruent to itself. And then that would help us um, prove the triangles are congruent because we know all three sets of sides are congruent. So that's kind of our plan. So now we just have to get that written out. So we know that EF is congruent to um, HG and EH is congruent to FG because um, opposite sides of parallelograms are congruent. Okay, so that was that top and bottom, left and right. We also know that EG is congruent to EG because it is the same segment. both triangles okay and then therefore triangle um, EHG is congruent to triangle uh, GFE by side 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 triangle congruence 